guys, it's Ashley, and today I have a review for y'all of a stamper that was sent to me by Dixie Plates to review. This is her clear stamper and her scraper, and it's a flexible scraper that has her logo on it, and it says Dixie Plates. So here is the stamper. It has her logo on it in the red metal holder. It comes with a lid and a cap on the back. And there's the head. I think that this is the clearest stamper head that I actually have. It's like clear as glass. I'm actually kind of shocked at how clear it is. So here is the holder and I'm just going to pop the back out because I like these for storage because it keeps your clear stamper head clean. But these get scratches on them. So I don't like to look through them when I'm stamping with the clear stamper. And I'm just going to place the stamping head back in the holder. And as you can see, it's super squishy. I love how squishy it is. Because I have a really strong C-curve, I love for my stamper heads to be squishy because they hug my nails and it makes transferring images onto my nails easier. And as you can see, I'm pushing down on it with quite a bit of force and it is not sliding down into the holder, which is great because I hate it whenever stamping heads slip in their holders. It makes it hard to work with them like repetitively on a plate. So to test the stamper out, I'm going to be using DP01. And I'm also going to be using a MoU London stamping plate and a Bundle Monster stamping plate. And I picked ones with a lot of details, so let's see how this does picking up images. For stamping polish, I'm using Esmalta's de Kelly's or EDK stamping polish. There it is with a rolling motion and I wanted to point this out because I know a lot of people were having trouble with this stamper head and Sarah R actually did like a troubleshooting video. I'll leave the link to it in the description below in case you want to watch it as well. But with her stamper head, it works best with pressing straight down with a little bit of pressure or with light, light touch, not rolling. So that's it rolling. And I just love how clear this stamper head is. It's like the clearest one that I own. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is the Dixie Plate stamper. And do you see how clear that is? And here is my generic AliExpress stamper. And do you see the clarity difference there? This one's still clear, but it's kind of like foggy. And then this one's like perfect glass clear. So let me try this pattern here real quick. And that is perfect. So with this stamper, you need like a light tap, just a light tap and it picks up perfectly. So if you have problems with the rolling method, then this is probably the stamper for you. Just look at that, that's perfect pickup. It got like all the little details, that is amazing. So it's a little bit different learning curve and it's going to get some take some getting used to for me because I'm used to doing the rolling motion, but I think it's worth it for how clear that stamper is and how well it picks up the little fine details with just such a lot of tap. So just tap and then there you have it. So it's just like a tap and then perfect pickup. Like look at the details on that image. That's amazing. Look at that image. Perfect 
details. It's like perfection. And with such a light tap. I love it. Okay, so next I'm going to test it over this Bundle Monster plate and see how well it does. I'm still using Esmalta's De Kelly stamping polishes. And there you have it, like picked up all the details. Look at that. And just with like a light, like just a tap and you pick up. I actually like this method of picking up with the clear stamper. I'm so used to rolling. And last, I'm going to test it up over this Moyu London stamping plate. These are some very detailed images and sometimes I even have trouble with them with just regular stampers, unless they're sticky. So just tap and voila. It picked up the image perfectly. This head is so crystal clear and picks up images so well. I'm so excited for this. So there you have it. This stamper is amazing. I love it. It is so crystal clear. It's the clearest clear stamper that I own currently. And you don't have to use the rolling method with it. So if you're having trouble with the rolling method and you normally just like do a tap on your images, then this stamper is for you because you just do a tap on the stamping plate and it picks up the image perfectly. All the fine details, I love this stamper and I give it a big thumbs up. So I will leave a link in the description box below. And as always guys, thank you so, so very much for watching. Bye.